be able to respond to that or to this, right? One of our viewers, Dylan T, has been asking uh, basically how long have you been doing martial arts okay. and uh, what styles have you trained? Uh, how long? Um, I started in 86 with Wing Chun. Yeah. We got lineage. I love Wing Chun because it's really direct, really simple. I still love Wing Chun, right? And then uh, later on, I trained with Michael uh, Smith in 92. And Sifu did a lot of styles. He did Shaolin, he did Kali, he did the Tai Chi Bagua Shing Yi, he did Each One, he did Wing Chun, he did so many things. I'm not sure what he taught me because it was all like, integrated together. And it was really amazing to see him work, you know, like he's really, really creative, right? So I did that, and then later on I trained with Jesse and Ed in non-classical Kung Fu, which in some ways is modified Wing Chun, right? And I really liked mon um, classical Kung Fu because it was the first time that I wasn't working with a countering model anymore. It was based on cramped of striking, right? And since some people have asked about that and want to help me with that, I'll just deal with that. Some of the ideas we're working on is based on closing on somebody, depending on how the arm is, if their arm's like this, right? I might pick the elbow, right? And the hands right here. I might go for the eyes, the things over here. I might come in this way. And it's very cooperative, he's letting me close, and then after a while he starts feeding me pressure, like he stops it, right? And if he stops it, then I do something else. So, that's the some of the stuff I work on, but because of some of the personal experience, right, and some of the jobs that I won't get into, I started to have questions, you know? Um, like what I do if it wasn't cooperative? What would I do if I told someone, hit me any way you like, as many times as you like? and go as hard as you can. And I don't know what's coming, what would I do, right? Against one guy, how do you close on it? And more importantly, what would I do if it was three guys coming at me? That's another situation, right? But what would I do if the guy pulled a knife and just starts rushing me and jacks me, right? So I want you to come at me the way I came at you, so don't be nice. Really try to get me, go as fast as you can, as many times as you want. You can go high, you can go low, you can change angles. It doesn't matter, right? And I'll try to get lucky. I hope I get lucky. <laughs> So these were some of the questions I was starting to have. And because of that, I started getting a group of people I trust together and uh, we start working on it and putting on the gear, getting into attacking non cooperatively and trying to come up with answers. Sometimes I found the answers, sometimes I didn't, right? Sometimes I found that I just had to apply what I learned before. Sometimes that didn't work, I had to actually modify what I learned before. And sometimes that doesn't even work and I have to scrap and then come up with something new, right? And it didn't happen overnight, it was a long process. I mean, it's been 20 years since I've done this, right? Um, I've never given it a name because no matter how much you change, it's still going through. Going through, going through, right? So, yeah, that's the style that I do, I guess. A follow-up question is, um, what's the most important thing that you actually learned from uh, all the process of you've gone through? By uh, the process I just described, part of the most important thing I learned is uh, don't give up, right? Because a lot of times I couldn't find the answers, right? And it was really, really hard. Yeah. You just take your time, no matter how hard it is, keep going, and then usually you find a solution to your problems, right? I don't think I'm doing anything new. I think that's what my teachers wanted me to do anyways, too. We all have different questions, right? And you have to find your own answers, right? So just keep at it.